Hey there everyone, Sal here. Just a quick video, I decided to repurpose the sleep staff because I think that being asleep for 6 turns is pretty much the same as killing a unit. So we've got something new, or rather, from one of the newer games. In Fates we have the Freeze staff, and luckily in Radiant Dawn we also have the Shock status. Here you can see the fighter can't move and he's still shocked for one turn, or rather the countdown is at one. And here we have Laura, and she's got a free staff. So let's see what happens. She uses the staff, and it still uses the same animation for sleep, because there's no actual shock animation. And as we can see, one is able to move because the countdown goes from one to zero. But the Myrmidon, he won't be able to move, because his counter is currently at 2. No, oh, nice crit. Luckily we don't have to deal with these reinforcements, because as, as we can see, this Myrmidon is now shocked for one turn. And if we now freeze someone else again, let's see, let's take this mage. There we go, and we get a level up out of it as well. We now see the shock status icon and this unit is shocked for two turns. Though that means that when enemy phase starts, to, uh, the number goes back to one, the countdown goes from two to one, and then one turn afterwards, as the turn starts, the counter goes from one to zero. So in effect, even though it says shock two, he's only actually frozen in place for one turn. I think the free staff is a lot better as a mechanic. Uh, I know a lot of people agree with uh, me on that one. Well, sleep is just overpowered, can't do anything. Uh, I do like that you can shove people awake, but being asleep for six turns, that's just way too much. So I hope you'll enjoy the new freeze mechanic. Uh, sleep is still going to be in the game, but not as a staff. That's it for me now. If you want to see more like this, please join the Discord and uh, I'll see you in the comments below. Sell out.